At 120 meters across, roughly the height of a city block, the asteroid's entry would begin high above the atmosphere, a silent speck hurtling at over 18 kilometers per second. If stony, like most objects of its size, it would compress the air ahead until the pressure shattered it in a violent airburst, much like Chelyabinsk in 2013. Chelyabinsk's shockwave broke windows across six cities and sent more than 1,500 people to hospitals, mostly with glass cuts and concussions. FA-22 carries more than 20 times the energy. A stony asteroid this size could explode at an altitude of 10 to 20 kilometers, releasing energy equivalent to several megatons of TNT. The shockwave would flatten buildings across dozens of square kilometers. Anyone caught near the blast center would have seconds, if that, to react. Glass would shatter, walls would buckle, and the heat flash could ignite rooftops. The devastation would not be limited to the point of entry. Outlying neighborhoods would feel the blast, with flying debris and collapsing structures multiplying the danger. Here, the energy transfers into a massive steam plume and a series of tsunamis radiating outward. While most of the wave's energy dissipates quickly in deep water, coastal regions within a few hundred kilometers could see walls of water tens of meters high. Ports, cities, and low-lying islands would face catastrophic flooding with little warning.